I'm getting nervous and this isn't even a real phone call. Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. Um, my name is Connie and today, as you can see by the title, we're going to be going over how to make a... What was he going to... Uh, how to make a doctor's appointment without your mom. That's right. Because a lot of us are moving out or we're going off to college or maybe our moms are just tired of making our doctor's appointments like mine. And this is pretty much an essential life skill, communication. So, the worst thing that can happen is you make the phone call and you screw up so bad that, like, the receptionist lady, like, remembers how bad you messed up. And then you went to your appointment and she, like, you left such an impact on her life that she remembers your name. And then she's like, oh my god, you're that person that didn't know how to make a doctor's appointment. <laughs> And then you're like, oh my god. You know, that's the absolute worst case scenario, which nobody cares. Like, receptionists get a ton of appointment calls from a bunch of teenagers that don't know what they're doing, like, every day. So, honestly, you're fine. Just, you know? Okay, so step one. Things you need to know. You need to know what you're going in for. You know, if you're going to call your orthodontist, you're probably going for a braces appointment. If you're calling your, you know, a urologist, you're probably going in for a kidney checkup, maybe. I don't know. Hello, this is Connie's Family Physicians. How can we help you today? Hi ma'am, I'd like to make an appointment. Yes ma'am, for what department would you like to make an appointment? I'm gonna, I just need to make uh, an appointment so I can get my physical because sometimes I don't even know like, like okay, like some things are pretty obvious but like, you know, anyways, I don't know. <sighs> I'm getting nervous and this isn't even a real phone call. I, I just don't want to make an appointment with whatever department does the physicals. You need to know your name. That's always a good start. You should probably know your birthday. Yes, ma'am. Can I have your name and your date of birth? Hi. My name is Connie Mar Wait, what's my name? Connie Jacqueline Martinez Chavarria. And my date of birth is May blank blank. Connie Jacqueline Martinez Chavarria. Okay, step three, they'll ask you what day you're free. You tell them any day you can get there, essentially. We have an opening for next week on Monday at three. Would that work fine? Now, if you can on this day, say yes. And if you can't, say no. And then they'll give you another appointment. But for me, that Monday works. Yes, ma'am, this Monday works. Okay, ma'am, just be sure to arrive 15 minutes before your appointment, and we'll see you on Monday. Thank you. You see, we're doing this together. It's easy like this. At some point, you're gonna have to make your own appointment for the rest of your life. Better start now, early, then start later when you're like 20 and you still don't know how to make an appointment it's embarrassing unless you're 20 and don't know how to make an appointment that's fine just watch this video it'll help well that was it for today it was pretty pretty basic pretty boring but um if any of you guys have like anything you'd like me to upload or you know pretty any ideas uh, i would appreciate them and i'll definitely try I am moving next week, so maybe I'll do a video on that. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully this wasn't this was helpful a little bit, and um, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. How's that? Uh, I'm so sorry for the sliding. My tree keeps moving, which is pretty normal. I know but I'm disappointed. My phone broke. Wow, this girl is so good at making appointments who taught her. I wish I was so good at making appointments when I was her age. I need to stop with this banana.